and welcome to today's webinar, the top three high impact conversations to have with sellers, your sphere, and buyers to explode your business with MAPS coach, Steve Schleter. Please note this meeting is being recorded and will be available within 24 hours on the MAPS Fast Track YouTube channel. You may access the YouTube channel from your true confirmation email, and we will also share the link in the chat momentarily. Currently, everyone's on mute. We do value group participation, so if you have any questions for your coach, please type them into the chat box below and they will be addressed throughout the webinar. Following this meeting, if you have any questions about today's call or our coaching programs, please email us at fasttrack at kw.com. That is F-A-S-T-T-R-A-C-K at kw.com. And that's all for me, Steve, take it away. Hey, thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, sure appreciate that. Let me uh, do a little something here real quick, folks. And uh, Tammy, did you make it here? I am here. Okay, go ahead and spotlight. Let's see if we can spotlight you. Must we? We must. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was a little fun getting logged on, everybody. Uh, you know, we had uh, uh, my computer decided to do an update last night and on automatic and everything runs slow. Uh, when you boot it back up for an update. So we had big fun. Okay, Tammy, uh, here you are. Uh, if we can get it to stop moving. Add spotlight. Here we go. All right. Awesome. Well, hey, welcome, everybody. So uh, this is a I'm, I'm excited about the content we're going to cover today because, you know, when markets change, it provides such a unique opportunity for you uh, and how you show up with the people in your database. You know, of course, uh, my name is Steve Schleter, and, and with me is my co-coach, Tammy Young. Say hi, Tammy. Hey, everybody. And uh, we're the coaches of Never Any Referrals. We're, uh, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit about us in a minute. Uh, yet let's talk about where we're headed today. And is this little visit and this conversation you get to be a part of is, is we're going to cover three conversations that are one of maybe several that you might have right now. Uh, and we're going to talk about what are those trusted advisor conversations that you might have with a seller today that you would have with uh, a prospective buyer who was coming into this market, or maybe one who had been on the sideline and is wondering, what do I do now? Uh, and then what are those conversations that we have with our sphere of influence? And, and Tammy, before we get launched, uh, let's introduce them to us a little bit. Tell them a little bit about Tammy. Uh, very, very quick and brief. I am, I am based in uh, Mooresville, North Carolina, which is just north of Charlotte. I have been with Keller Williams for about 19 years, have been a MAPS Bold coach for eight and a half years. I'm also KWU Master Faculty. I'm co-coach of Never Ending Referrals with the amazing uh, KWU Classic Steve that you just met. And also own an education company in my region, which is the Carolinas region. So uh, I, we're really just excited to be here with you guys today. Yeah. Steve, how about you? Well, you know, a uh, veteran of several shifting markets. I've been in the industry, uh, started at 23. I've been in this industry now 35 years and have had the opportunity to navigate many a shifting market. And, and by the way, shift equals opportunity. And uh, as far as background, I was one of the top 20 REMAX agents in the state of Texas uh, before getting courted by Gary Keller uh, to be a team leader at the Austin Northwest Market Center. Uh, and that began a leadership career that included uh, being a regional director, early development of the Heartland region. Uh, like Tammy, I'm a KWU master faculty, bold coach, um, multi-market center owner, uh, and lead the productivity team here in San Antonio. Uh, where I live in the 900 agent KW City View office. So um, productivity is my jam. I love what we're going to do today, Tammy. And before we get started, I, I would love to just set some perspective um, because we're going to be talking about conversations. And, and I believe that every conversation, and Tammy, you and I talk about this a lot, it has to be intentional. Um, it has to be real. It has to be authentic. And yet we're not just having conversations for conversation's sake. And I, 
I want to go talk about, you know, what is an objective of our conversations as real estate professionals as it relates to building a relationship-based business. Now that, you know, Tammy and I are the co-coaches of a group program called Never Ending Referrals. And so our, our take on this is more about how we enhance our relationships with our sphere of influence, with our database, uh, and with our clients. And so let me share something with you real quick. Um, and this is a little something called the trust triangle. And the trust triangle uh, comes from the Harvard Business Review. And it was really a conversation Tammy and I heard Gary Keller having around leadership. And it was this conversation about how do leaders develop trust with the people they lead? And as Gary and Jay Papazan had this conversation, it became crystal clear to me that this is the exact formula for building that trusted advisor relationship that Gary talks so much about. And, and so what are the three points of the trust triangle? It's this, it's logic. And the logic piece is I know you can do it. Your reasoning and your judgment are sound. Uh, in other words, you know the market, you understand what's happening in the market, and I trust you to be able to guide me. The second point over here is empathy. I, I believe you care about me and my success or my well-being. And then the third point, authenticity, I experience the real you. It's, it's not a salesy conversation. It's not a sleazy conversation. It's not a conversation that's about you and your needs for a sale. It's about taking care of them in, in a way that just feels uh, like they're, they're talking to a warm, trusted soul uh, that they can count on to navigate them in times that maybe are a little uncertain. So Tammy, before we get into the three conversations, we're going to start with seller. In fact, as we get into this, uh, at the end, we're going to have a, an offer for you to tell you a little bit about our community. Uh, I'm also going to be sending you a video on the in-depth conversation with sellers in a pricing presentation a listing that, Tammy, we did that, what, two weeks ago in our Never Ending Referrals community? Um, yeah. Yeah. Timely conversation. Very timely. So before we go there and start with sellers, what, what's your thought about this trust triangle, our goal of these conversations? Well, I, I think if you're asking me or are you asking everyone in the screen? I'm asking you. because He's the asking me. Talking. I'm just making sure, everybody, this is the way Steve and I roll, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think that the most important thing is, you know, when people really feel like you care and that you're being genuine, when we share statistics or information around what's happening in the market, we really truly do come across as someone who is doing that because we care about that person's well-being. And I go back and I think about, you know, our financial advisor reaching out to me uh, recently because of the changes that are going on. And I, guys, I wasn't upset about that call at all. It wasn't a sales call. He was calling to help. And so as we walk into these conversations today, uh, just, you know, really work to reframe your mindset around reaching out and having these conversations with people because the conversation truly is the relationship. Yeah. Well, you know, well said. And, and so let's get into this. And, and, and the yeah. seller conversation is a pretty robust conversation. So I'm going to give you kind of the framework. And then we're going to give you at the end the video link to go watch the, the 36 minute um, kind of tutorial we did on how we're going to do this in a listing presentation. But this is the price reduction conversation. Uh, it's explaining the dynamics of the market. It could be a conversation you have with a seller. So let me go to my document camera and uh, we're going to pull this up. In fact, uh, Tammy, I'm going to take you off the spotlight for a minute. Okay. And everyone, if you would just, you know, really take some notes it, you know, all the distractions away from you, this is going to be one of the best conversations you have with a seller that really needs to price properly in a market that's changing around them. You know, and, and Tammy, I'm going to date myself a little bit, but uh, in Texas in, in 1988, um, my second year in real estate, I was struggling to get people to price right. Uh, the market was in a steep decline. It was losing a percent and a half in value a month. Um, and what, what a lot of uh, states went through in the Great Recession, Texas went through in the late 80s and early 90s. And I had to develop a conversation that, that educated people so that they would make better decisions about price because they were making poor decisions and then they would chase the market down and they would lose equity, lose equity, lose equity. And by the way, we developed this conversation to also work in a buyer's market as well. But today we're going to talk about it in, in, in the framework of today. 
And so I would draw this out. Now, by the way, we call this the Intelligent Seller's Guide to Pricing. I'm going to send you a 36-minute video on how robustly you can use this to have different conversations. Uh, and we'll do that at the end. And yet here's the, the, the loose framework. You're going to draw this on a legal pad. You're not going to have a slide or have it on a, an iPad because that's selling. What we're going to do is educate. And as we draw something out in front of somebody, uh, it reveals to them the, the, the truth or the situation or the aha that we might choose to have them have. So I'm going to draw these lines in the middle and the lines on the side. And I've gone through the CMA and say, here's what's going on in the market. Now, you've probably heard that the market's changing a little bit. And, you know, let me educate you a little bit on how smart sellers are pricing their home. And I said, really, there's, there's three prices for every home. There's premium, and I'll write that right there. In fact, let's put that over here, premium. And then I'll say there's market price, and then there's wholesale. And these are all terms that they're familiar with or they've heard. And let's say based upon the CMA, we say that the market's 350000 now, under all the right circumstances, premium price, and I, I can find a justification for 375, maybe 380 on the upper, upper end. And then on the wholesale, hey, you want an all cash offer? You don't have to discount it too much today, but you know, 330 without even putting it on the market, not packing a box, I can have you out of here tomorrow. And those are the three. And by the way, anything I put here is going to be a price I'm willing to list it at. So premium isn't some airy-fairy, it, it's a price that you really believe. Now, here's the things that, that now we get into the conversation, let's talk about what's going to influence where we decide to price your home today or where we need to adjust your price to. And so over here, we're gonna write the word trend. And the trend uh, is either we're trending towards a seller's market, or a buyer's market. And there's actually another word that could go in here and that word is inventory. What's the inventory trend? Is it, are we gaining inventory or are we inventory declining? Now let's go over here to the other side. And the other side is time and it's condition. Now, Condition could be it's model home quality. It's staged perfectly. Or it's going to be neglect, deferred maintenance, if you will. It, it, it's not been, it needs a shoe shine really bad. And so this is really the factor. So if you think about what influences price, or what influences value, it's the trend in the market, it's the condition of the property relative to what it's competing with. And now the time, you know, you may have some sellers, Tammy, that say, I've got all the time in the world, so let's go ahead and price it up here. And that might be okay under what circumstances, Tammy? If the market is still climbing. Well, which way is the market trending? Mm -hmm. You know, now, right now, we're still in most of our markets in a seller's market, and yet many of our markets are trending That's right. back towards the middle. And so when the person tells me I got all the time in the world, I said, do you have three years? And they go, whoa. Do you, and I'm, I'm saying, I'm serious, do you have three years? Because based upon what's happening, if the market comes back, from premium, and maybe we've been at premium plus in some markets where people were doing goofy money, you know, way overbidding on property. You know, now it's coming back towards the middle. If you have all the time in the world, that may not be your friend if this trend continues. And here would be the important thing is find the evidence to support the trend. You know, for me, I, I went through this with a bunch of agents in a mastermind this morning. And the seven days back in our market, we did a seven day back hot sheet. And in the seven day back hot sheet, there were 1,398 new listings 
in the last seven days, there were 886 that went pending. So you had new listing outpacing pendings by over 500 units in seven days. And we had 990 price adjustments down. And so that was the evidence to support the trend. And I can just look at seven days, put it in front of them and say, here's what the trend is. Let me show you what's happening. And by the way, we've gone from one month, less than one month of inventory to two months, which is still a seller's market, but the trend is moving us back. Now, Tammy, I, you know, the other part I would say with this is when you're in a trend, the most important thing you're going to be looking at also is, is not just what sold, it's those active listings. It's what is my competition today, price watching the market, being prepared every two weeks, you know, to size up if an adjustment's needed. And we go through that in more detail in that video. But Tammy, this is the first conversation is helping the seller choose the right price every single time by understanding the trend. And so once we've gone through this and we've really gone through the comparison data, here are the houses you're competing against. Given the trend in the market, given the current condition of your home, where do you feel like we've got a price today to be competitive and not get caught behind where the market is moving? And Tammy, when you ask the question of a motivated person, they tend to answer in a way that's going to serve them well. And I want you to write this down, folks. People can't say no to their own goals. And if you go into a conversation today and you're in a listing competition, if you will, and you're just putting out a price based upon some comps and you're not educating them about the trend and the, the things that impact the, the choice they make, they may choose somebody based upon price. What we want them to do is choose you and choose the right price for their benefit. That's gonna get them where they wanna go. And, and that means you have to work with the motivated. Right. So Tammy, chime in on this because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send them the video where we go deeper into this. Uh, because it, it can really be a deep conversation given different aspects of the market. Uh, but what would you add? Well, I would add having used this personally uh, when, when the market really, you know, crashed back in 2008, 2009, this conversation does allow a seller to be very actively part of making the decision on where to price their home. And more often than not, I mean, with what Steve said, guys, they pick the right place. And it's because you've walked them through a conversation that makes sense and we've educated them. And it's not just us saying, here's where it should be. And when you educate people, uh, they just make the right decisions. It's a really powerful conversation. And we're gonna send you, uh, what did you, Steve, is it about 36 minutes you said? Yeah. On, on us going really deep into that. So take us through buyers. What's the buyer conversation of the moment today, Tammy? Well, let me just stop for just a second, if we could, because I see Susan. Susan, you have your hand up. Do you have a question? Yeah. So what happened if you have a seller at a really high end? Um, the house is actually really beautiful and is on the water. Uh, well, not very, not on the water, but it's you have an ocean view. Um, and you're already at the top of its game. How do you talk to them in a way where we don't overprice the property. I think it goes right back to, you know, and when you go through that 36 minute interview, it, it's going back to their motivation. And, you know, and many times those kind of properties get squeezed first, you know, those are, Hey, I'm, I'm not sure if we're going into a recession, I'm going to be conservative. I'm not going to go make that two and a half million dollar or $10 million or whatever it is purchase. And those markets can go soft, even though those people probably aren't as affected by the recession, they may go, there's probably a buying opportunity down the road. And so what I would really pay attention to is what am I competing against? And if, if, if people were going to buy a home like this, what are the three best values in the market? And 
you've got to be one of the top three values in the market. Although those properties seem to be very unique, that would be the additional part of the conversation and understanding what the trend is in that luxury market. So you could just really define that. How many price reductions are we seeing? How many are going pending versus coming on the market? That will define the choices they need to make. And then watch it every week. Watch it every week and report to them every week. Thank you. You're welcome. Steve, you, we, we're, we're looking at your desk. You're looking at my desk. You don't like <laughs> So let's turn that let's turn that camera back on. Well, so let me transition over over to buyer conversations because uh, you know one of the biggest challenges that we have going into a market that is shifting the way that it is uh, with interest rates going up is getting buyers to take the plunge and jump into the market. And you know as these interest rates are going up, and I know that you all you know have seen this. I mean, look at what has happened just in the last two months. And, you know, we wouldn't have predicted that they would jump the way that they have. And so, you know, the conversation really needs to be around several things. Um, you can use what Steve just walked through and, and where's the market trending? So if the market is actually trending more back toward the middle and you see the inventory rising, well, that obviously is a favorable situation for a buyer that they've been like, right, like jumping them down for, uh, for quite some time. So talk about the inventory levels and being able to find the house that really suits their needs. And then the next conversation as it pertains to interest rates to get them off the fence is, is all about, and some of you may have seen this because it's kind of been going around. Steve and I really, we talked about this a couple of days ago and all of a sudden now I'm seeing everybody posting it, which is really funny, uh, is you know find the perfect home for them. Find something that they're not settling for. So many buyers settled over the last two years. Walk through what that looks like. Guys, we are gonna find the perfect home for you because inventory levels are finally starting to increase. And what, what we really want to do is find the home that you fall in love with and you're going to marry. And, and as it pertains to interest rates, we're just going to date the interest rate. So we're going to marry the house, make the commitment, and we're going to date the rate. And the reason I say that is for two reasons. Number one, they can either stay where they are, which we know probably isn't going to happen, or they can increase and they lose buying power. Or if we do go back into some sort of a recession, which we may or may not, it would be very short lived. The first thing they'll do is lower those interest rates and they can refinance the house. And so when you really walk through that conversation with someone, they understand that right now is absolutely the best time for them to move forward and purchase that home because they can either refinance it or it's going to go up and they lose the buying power. So, I mean, it's just a fantastic conversation to have. You could still walk them through what Steve did around what the market is doing and where pricing is. Steve, anything that you would add to that? Yeah, in fact, we'll, we'll send you some additional information when you, uh, you know, uh, since you're registered here uh, in an email post session. Um, you know, I just did a mastermind today and, and you, you know, Gary Keller in his vision speech, he shared the history of interest rates and the when you go back to 1990, the historical median interest rates, 5.98. Um, I was in a lender's training room here just an hour and a half ago. And he said, we're for 5.75 and on a VA, that's a VA lender. And um, that's where they're at today. And, and I go, okay, well, that's below 5.98. So historically, you, you could actually say, and it's accurate, that historically, you're still at historically low rates going back all the way to 1990. If you go back to 1970, the median rate was over 9%. I'm sorry, no, over 7.6% uh, uh, over that period of time as an average median rate. So I look at this, and, and here's the thing I'd be careful of. Number one, the whole date, the rate, Tammy, it, that is still historically low. We may not see, yes. you know, 5.75 um, a year from now, it may be, you know, six, seven, eight. History says it can be. And we may not see today's rates for 10 years or maybe never in our lifetime again. We don't know. That's right. We are still at historically 
low rates. And so it's, if it goes up, you look brilliant for buying today. And if it goes down, you've got the opportunity to have dated the rate that was still historically low. So that would be my, my add on to that. Well, and, and you also, you know, as a tool, right, we have Keller Mortgage. And so if someone were going to refinance their home and it was going to be, let's say it was even in the next year, you know, obviously you could turn them right over to Keller Mortgage and do that with no of those, none of those lender fees rather. Uh, the other thing around this too, Steve, that I, I want to throw in is every once in a while, you know, you might have that buyer that says, well, you know, here's the thing though, you know, what if we buy now and prices come down? you know, a little bit, right? Because that's what they're all waiting to do. And, and so that's when you just share with them, you know, every 1% that those interest rates go up, you lose 10% of your buying power. So someone who qualified, you know, for a $400,000 home in January and things have gone up 2% now qualifies for 320,000. And so unless they think home prices are gonna come down that substantially, uh, which most likely is not going to happen, then today's current rate is always going to be the best opportunity for them to buy. Not to mention, Steve, it's never the wrong time to buy the right house. And, and real estate has always been a great long play. Yeah, I heard Gary Keller say the other day, you know, it, he talked about how people thought he overpaid for, you know, his ranch. He, he's got about 2,000 acres he put together over time of contiguous property. And to get some of it, he paid pretty dearly for it. And people, man, you really overpaid for that. And, and today, all these years later, he looks very brilliant. Uh, <laughs> and that is worth way more than he ever paid for that 2,000 acres. And it's in a place that it could be developed. Uh, it, it's an extremely awesome asset. So time makes you look brilliant in real estate. So there, there's, there is always that. Uh, so let's talk about, you know, the specialty that Tammy and I, you know, are known for, and that's our database. And, you know, through our program, Never Ending Referrals, you know, we, we always keep the pulse on what are the conversations for the market of right now? What are the just right for right now conversations that we should be having with the people in our database? And we're, I'm going to give you the, the simplest conversation that's going to lead to three possible conversations. And I trust you're ready. You'll make some notes. By the way, we'll be sending you the work. Is this being recorded? It is being recorded. <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, we'll be sending the recording of this out as well. So if, if you're struggling to get the notes, don't worry, we'll send this out to you. But here's the interesting conversation with your database. Tammy, if I'm calling you today, and I'm reaching out to you, and you're my sphere of influence, a past client, um, just anybody in my network, you know, the conversation is going to sound like, in fact, can we kind of just, can we kind of role model it for them, Tammy? Sure. Yeah. So the conversation is going to go something like, um, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Tammy, Steve Schleter over at Keller Williams. How you doing? I'm good, Steve. How are you? Oh, fantastic. What are you and Bruce been doing with your summertime? Hi, uh, you know, just uh, just working to keep our yard alive in all this heat. How about you? Yeah, uh, well, that that is a chore. So, uh, you know, and I know you guys are beach people. Have you made a beach trip lately? Oh, we have. Ah, where'd you go? Yes, yes. Well, actually, you know, we own a couple of condos at the coast, and uh, when when they're open, we we jump into those as as we can. Oh, fantastic! Hey, well, let me tell you why I'm calling today, Tammy. Is uh, as you know, owning condos down at the beach, probably walking, watching the market. The market is doing some interesting things uh, right now. As you know, interest rates uh, have gone up. Well, you're probably maybe starting to notice a few more uh, for sale signs as you maneuver around town. We're seeing a little bit of uptick uh, in inventory. And uh, because there are changes in our market, I wanted to reach out and just curious um, do you and Bruce have any, any real estate plans, buy, sell, or invest, you know, over the next uh, 12 or 18 months right now? Uh, you know, Steve, I think right now we are good. Um, mm -hmm. As you know, you helped us move into uh, this new one that we're in uh, less than 18 months ago. And um, however, I think, I think we're good right now. Yeah. Well, the reason I ask is just, you know, I'm, I'm, I've had a lot of people inquiring is what should we do? And um so it sounds like you're good. Now, I, I do want to check. I mean, even in the 18 months y'all have owned it, the values have gone up 
pretty dramatically in have you checked with your insurance agent to make sure your your homeowner's insurance is is adequate for the increased value? Mm, we have not. Should mm. we do that? Yeah, I would. And, and you've probably picked up because, you know, we went under contract on that not 18 months ago, almost 28, 30 months ago. And since then, prices have come up a good 35 percent. And so you may want to look at that to make sure you're fully insured, okay? Oh, gosh. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Now, let's pause. So, Tammy, I just had a conversation that even though you're not going to do anything, I got to add value to you. That's right. Now, by the way, I would have closed that with, hey, what, are, what kind of big plans you and Bruce have coming up? Or tell me what you've done to the house. Right. You know, in the last 18 months, it would be, and you notice I sandwiched, there's something we teach in Never Any Referrals, it's called the Ford Sandwich. I, I sandwiched the business conversation or the real estate conversation into something personal to make it conversational. And so let's go to the, to the next thing that might occur. Um, and I, I make the next call and I call Bill. And I asked Bill the same question. Say, hey, Bill, because the market's kind of, kind of different, uh, people really aren't sure of all the best moves. I'm just curious, had y'all had at all any, any consideration of doing anything in the next 12 to 18 months uh, in real estate? And he goes, well, we were, but we just, you know, interest rates have gone up so high. We're not sure if it's a good time, if we should wait till they go down. I said, well, Bill, I mean, there are a lot of forces in play in the market right now. I tell you what, since you have been thinking about it, why don't we set a strategy session to kind of go over your situation? I'll kind of educate you on the market and what the opportunities of the market are. Uh, but let me ask you, what, what kind of move had you had in mind? And I'm just going to get to the heart of what the motivation is. And then based on whatever he says, I've, I've now got a foundation for the meeting. Or I, it may be such that I give them guidance right there on the phone, uh, or we get into that conversation. And ideally, I don't want to get into selling on the phone or, you know, because the spouse or partner isn't there with us. I'd rather get a strategy session scheduled. And it's, it's not going over their plans. It's not over making a commitment to anything. It's simply setting a strategy session and that's okay. Um, and then, of course, so, so you have three things that are going to happen. Um, you've got somebody that's not sure, and you got somebody that says, think about all the people mm -hmm. in the last five years in some of our markets. In my markets, the last seven years, people that you sold a house to that many of them compromised because we had such low inventories. And you have interest rates as one factor, but yet to build up an inventory is the big opportunity if you have that in your market. And so I call and Tammy says, you know, Steve, man, we would really like a bigger house, you know, and, and she's clear about what she would like. And, you know, this was a compromise, you know, back when we bought it five years ago. And I go, well, you know, here's the exciting news, Tammy. You know, we have more homes on the market now than we've had in the last five years. And, you know, and that trend is growing a little bit. And yet we've still retained a lot of the value we've gained over the last five years as well. And so the opportunity for you to trade the current home you have and, and be able to go find something that suits you is this is probably one of the most ideal times that you may have to do that in the near future. Why don't we set a strategy session to go over kind of what you might be looking for in a home and then we'll, just, we'll, we'll kind of explore uh, how we might get started if, if this is right for you. And so one conversation Hey, because the markets, let's go back to the initial conversation. So I call Tammy. Hey, Tammy, you know, the market's doing some unusual things right now. And, and, and although interest rates are going higher, there actually are some real positive opportunities in the market. And, you know, it's really confusing. I'm finding it's really confusing for a lot of my clients. And I wanted to reach out and I was just curious, you know, do you and Bruce have any real estate plans, you know, at all or had been considering that in the next 12 to 18 or 24 months? and then be quiet. That's and then it's going to lead to one of those three conversations right there. That's it. Tammy, we make these conversations too complicated. And if we just come from an authentic servant's place 
and then offer them clear direction, not attached to the outcome. Is it good for them? Is it not good for them to make a move? And it's all coming out in the strategy session to discover what they might really desire. So, uh, Timmy, let's take a look at the chat real quick. And I want to tell these guys a little bit about the opportunity uh, we have for them. And then, um, and then we're going to, uh, in a moment, I'll give you a link to the video for the detailed presentation uh, on sellers. Uh, but Tammy and I would like to invite you to become part of our never ending referrals community. And let me share with you what that is and, and how you might do that. And it means I have to go find my share button. Uh, here it is. And so never ending referrals. Uh, we are, Tammy and I go live every Monday. Uh, well, the, the first three Mondays of every month, uh, not this coming uh, Monday, because it's July 4th. So we kick off again, July 11th. Uh, but on July 11th, we start our journey through the eight sessions of never ending referrals. And we do that live. And we do it three Mondays a month. And each session starts off with either a 30 minute tech session on how to utilize tech to uh, succeed with your database and with your relationships. Uh, and then we get into one of the eight sessions of never ending referrals. Uh, to enroll in our program is $39 a month. It's a minimum five month commitment. And Tammy, I mean, we've got people that have been with us for two and a half years because, you know, at the beginning of each session, we either have a tech tutorial or we have a ex subject expert interview. Uh, and we also bring you these market of the moment, right, just right for right now conversations quarterly so that you kind of have, you're equipped and you're ready to go. And so to join us, just go to neverendingreferrals.com and, and, um, uh, my assistant will throw in the chat for you the link if you'd like to join us. Uh, we'd love to have you part of our community. Uh, it is guaranteed 30 days. If you get in there and you think Tammy and I are all wet, uh, don't have a clue what we're talking about, uh, you can get right out of that commitment. Uh, we're here to serve you. And, you know, this has been a labor of love. You'll, you'll hear more about our story when you go through the first session of what the genesis uh, of this program is. Uh, again, go to neverendingreferrals.com. Uh, Megan, if you'll drop that in the chat. And then also, uh, Megan, go ahead and drop that link, that YouTube link uh, for the video. Uh, I do want to share one other thing with you that, um, you know, sometimes Mondays are busy and you can't be with us. Uh, and let me get to the portal. Bear with me. Uh, Tammy, go ahead and take a second while I pull that up. So everything that we do is recorded and it is uploaded onto the portal. So you have access to it. It's 24 seven on demand. And there are literally hundreds of interviews and sessions around database uh, farming and just how to really become that trusted advisor on the portal. There you go, there's the portal. So the portal, you know, walk you right through. Here's our most recent interviews. Uh, where we've got the subject matter experts taking us right through what they're doing to succeed with their database. And then, of course, the eight sessions where we take you right through, uh, you know, the eight sessions of never ending referrals. And you've got the workbooks, the resources, everything you need to do it at your own pace mm -hmm. or go find the recordings. Uh, if you want to do a client event and you need resources on client events, you just come into the portal and scroll down to session four and go to the session on client events or go to the client event resources page. And you've got everything you need for success with your database, uh, including our library of tech tutorials with our resident tech expert, KT uh, Temple. You said you were gonna come back at it full time. Uh -huh. Whoops, was that? Yeah. But anyway, Tammy, what do we got in the chat? And again, uh, neverendingreferrals.com or Megan, if you'll throw in the chat the, uh, mm -hmm. the link to register and join us. Yeah, uh, got that. Um, Olga was asking, you know, about insurance companies having their own data for rebuild costs. And um, is that a really valid thing to share? And yes, they do. Uh, they absolutely do. And, and yet it's a really valid conversation for you to still have and bring to light with someone so that they can reach out to their insurance person and just double check and make sure. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having that conversation. Again, it's just, it's a care conversation is what that is. Well, and I've got Thanks. farmers and I've got farmers insurance and, and I have had no contact in the last three years about the valuation of my insurance. 
none whatsoever. So it's, it's, it may be spotty, you know, and depending on how their algorithms are working. Yeah. Um, yeah, if anybody would like to chime in, uh, feel free to raise your hand and you go down to the bottom, you can raise your hand, chime in. Uh, if you have a question, I see we've got uh, some other things in the chat. <laughs> I love that. Claire said, tuning in from the UK, we may not share the same tech, but a 36 touch is a 36 touch. So I imagine this would be huge value. We'd love to join. Oh, Claire, we'd love to have you. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You're absolutely right. It, it is. Me. It's a contact sport. Yeah, Keith says he attended twice. Great program. Hey, that's the ultimate compliment when you come back, Keith. I love that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, pricing presentation, you see it there if you just scroll up. Uh, you got it right there. You can access that on YouTube. And we will follow this up uh, with some more resources for you to help you get into that, you know, dialed in, trusted advisor, you know, position. I'd love to hear a couple of your insights or ahas. If you want to throw them in the chat or come in and share with us, well, uh, share with the group. <laughs> yeah, Harvey's got Looks his like hand up. Say again? Harvey's got his hand up. All right. Yeah, hi, thanks for calling on me. Um, sure. I just wanted to say that, you know, the importance of being um, the really, really um, intimately knowledgeable of your market data is, is really important in uh, we in the Northeast um, are not seeing as significant a drop in prices. And so what we're, what I think people are hearing on the national news is that there has been a reversal and that there's been price drops in other parts of the country, but in certain pockets and other and certain markets, um, prices are not going down. Mm -hmm. um, and so being really intimate with your numbers and being able to show people your local market micro data um, is absolutely critically important in, in, in for people like us in the Northeast. Yeah. Well, and, you know, what you're competing against, Harvey, is the, the national yep. conversation, right? And so right. who's yep. that scaring out of the market that should be in it, still taking advantage of the, of, of the opportunity before it gets even more unaffordable? Yeah. Well said. Thank you. Yeah, very well said. Thanks, Harvey. So who else has got an insider on how you would share with the group? Um, like it says, are there are the eight classes always the same content? For example, class one is the same as class one the next time around. And so uh, the core material is, yes. And what Steve and I change, you know, every, every round that we start this is having the conversations that pertain to what is happening or trending in the market today. Uh, fundamentals never change, right? The basic fundamentals never change. However, you can change some of how you do those based on what the market is doing. <laughs> Give you quarterly conversations <laughs> with your database as those things change. And Steve, that's probably, you know, I would say why some of the folks that have been with us so long have been with us mm -hmm. is, is we're both, we're out on the road, we're traveling around the country and, and we're seeing <laughs> what works and what doesn't. And so we bring it back to our community. Yeah. Yeah, that's the real issue is that, you know, we, we always put the bend on right now. Um, the fundamentals is a place about mastery. It, it's one of these things where how do you know you've mastered your relationships? How do you know you've mastered your database? Well, you're getting a 10% or better return on the relationships you have. Meaning if you have a database of 300, you're getting at least 30 transactions a year either direct referral or those people transacting business with you again. That's when you know you've got to mastery. Now, can you go beyond mastery to <laughs> Jedi master? Yes, mm -hmm. you know, we have people that get 15 and 17% returns on their database. And yet the first increment is anybody can get to 10% and it requires really mastering this in its, you know, what's, what's Gary say? Uh, you know, when you keep saying, teach me something new is, a demonstration that we're, we're not committed to self-mastery. It's like stay in these fundamentals. Push-ups still work, you know, yes. they, they still work. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Megan, uh, if you'll throw that video in one more time, uh, just in case somebody didn't grab it, uh, they can grab that now. Anybody else questions or insights? Email out. Love the idea of put, calling a strategy session. Will we be emailing things out? Yes. People can't say no to their own goals, Claire. That that's that's one of those Steve brilliant things. He he throws those out. I got to tell you. Hey, I might get a, get occasional dad joke too. So yes. sorry. 
uh, in advance if I do. So not have a large database and trying to grow it. Um, well, Julie, that's a great question. Uh, Julie said, you know, what if you're a brand new agent and you do not have a large database and you're trying to grow it? That is one of the things that we address. Uh, we very much follow MREA, the Millionaire Real Estate Agent, and the four laws of the database. And one is to feed it. And so we walk through some feeding your database strategies, and we're going to give you strategies if you were brand new to a town and didn't know anyone that you could use to actually grow your database. That's a great question. <laughs> Keith said, you're killing him. No dad jokes. Man, yes. man, I got to have some fun with this. Right. You know, <laughs> we do have a good time. And yet we, we this is the labor of, of love. We know that this is the biggest opportunity for every one of you, yes. you know, out there is, is to develop that that bucket of business. And, and Tammy, you, you said it real well. You said when you follow the strategies that we talked about, you develop that trust triangle. You always say you get, you go from being, you know, Tammy, the, the realtor to yeah. becoming what? Uh, it's so different. If somebody were to say, well, who is that? And, and instead of somebody saying, no, that, that's Tammy, she's a realtor. It would be, oh my gosh, that's Tammy, my realtor. The moment that somebody takes ownership of you, your relationship has just gone that direction. Mm -hmm. And that's the goal. Yeah. So that the, the you wake up every January 1 knowing where your first 36, 72, 172 transactions are coming from, uh, that's the gift that this will bring you, is mastering this work uh, and mastering these messages. Uh, we'll get it done. So unless you guys have more questions, I, I trust we we laid a few things on you that uh, you can go out and use today. And if you really liked what you learned today, please join us in our community. Again, it's neverendingreferrals.com uh, or the link that Megan has thrown in there. Uh, we'll be following up with you with email on uh, this recording. Uh, so be on the lookout if you want to go visit any of it again. And you did get the link for the robust conversation on using the Intelligent Seller's Guide to Pricing. So with that said- Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Alex, Alex ha Alan has his hand up. Yeah. Alan Waxman, I love hey, that guy. Alan, down in Florida. How is it down in Florida? It's it's outstanding. Um, I wanted to wait to the, to the tail end and um, I'm one of the old guys on this uh, Zoom link. When I say old, not only chronologically, but with the company. I just turned 68 years old and I've been with this company since November of 2003. And I'm gonna give a shameless plug for my friend, my mentor, my coach, Steve Schleter. Steve was one of the very first people I met in this company when I was an agent and I had an opportunity to become a team leader. Um, my OP had suggested I speak with three people, um, Mark Willis, Steve Schleter, and Mary Tennant. I spoke with all three of them and um, I became a team leader and never looked back. I currently am the operating partner of three market centers. And as Tony Robbins says, I share that with you, not to impress you, but to impress upon you that I could not have done that without great coaches. Steve Schleter um, was a great coach, is a dear friend. And I will tell you that if you have an opportunity to be in business with Steve for three weeks, five weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks for the rest of your life, uh, do it, do it. Um, and Tammy, I, I don't know you nearly as well, but if Steve shares with me what he shares with me about you, then, then I would say you guys are getting a twofer. Again, shameless plug, I get nothing for this. I just love you, man. You've been there for me. Uh, you, helped me you helped coach me through the passing of my mom and launching my second market center. And uh, I'm forever indebted, my friend. Love you, awesome. Love you too. I had no idea you were on here. I was like, oh, Waxman's here. Awesome. Hey. Oh, man. Glad to see you, my friend. Yeah. Do you remember yes. me? Yes. Thank you, Alan. Yes, sir. I love wow. it. Thanks, That's Alan. That touches my heart in such the biggest way. And guys, thank you for being with us today. Yes. Uh, trust you got value. And uh, we'd love to partner with you in making sure you, you again, take advantage of this biggest asset. Uh, that is your relationships and is your database. And I see we have several people coming into the session right now. I think you got time zone maybe mixed up if, or maybe you got kicked off. Uh, if you just came and joined us, we just wrapped up. Uh, and uh, you will be getting the recording if you are signed up for this. So thank you so much, folks.